Good afternoon, everybody. You are looking live with Bear River Live at a game one of the three game series between the Bear River Bears and the Logan Grizzlies. The Bears getting back to action after a loss against Sky Ridge. That one went into extra innings and then enjoying the spring break. The Bears coming to this one with a 10 and 3 record overall. Logan getting swept by Ridgeline the last time out. They have a 1 and 9 record. The region breakdown still. Way early in this one, kind of looks like this: the Bears and Ridgeline and Mountain Crest all with three and zero. Everybody else zero and three. As far as the RPI goes, looks like this: the Bears. That it would be softball, actually. But the Bears in fifth. And we are joined by former coach, administration here at Bear River High School, Coach Clay Chernus. What a great day for baseball. Not. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> baseball is a warm weather sport, man. But it's all right. We'll get her in. Northern Utah High School baseball. It's kind of the way it goes. Yeah, you kind of get to a point where you can't really make most of these games up, so you just got to go. Yep, yeah, and, and I think they did the right thing by bumping it from yesterday to today. It's a little warmer, um, so hopefully we're going to catch a little bit of a sun here in a minute. It looked like the radar was going to break up just a little bit, so. Yeah, you got blue skies coming out. Yeah. But hopefully the Bears can uh, put a few things together today. It's been a little while since they played, so hopefully knock off a little rust early and get after it. All right, the lineup for the Grizzlies. We'll kind of look a little bit like this. We'll start off here with Vinny Rohrer and Alex Davies and Cabrera. We'll be in the cleanup spot. Nice part about uh, Big Ash going on the mound here is uh, his, his, he's mostly uh, fastball changeup, which uh, cold weather doesn't usually bother those two pitches too much. If you're a guy that relies on a lot of something to spin, like a slider, uh, curveball, knuckleball, that kind of stuff. The cold weather really plays havoc with those. So Ash is prim primarily a fastball, two-seam, four-seam fastball guy and a really good changeup. So. Arrow with another one in there, drop strike, but they'll get it out at first. There was a there's that changeup look right there. It's, it's a good pitch. Ashton does a great job. He's one of those guys I love when he pitches because you know you're gonna be uh, quick. He works quick. He works fast, and he works efficient. So, great kid. He's a senior. He's he started for us since uh, since he was a sophomore. It's good to see him out here smiling and, and having a good time. Next up will be Alex Davies. We're number two in the second spot. And the first pitch to him, a ball here from Harold. Follows it up with a strike. Like I said, Ash, he's gonna he's gonna throw a pitch about every 10 seconds. That's his goal a lot of times. Get up on the mound, give me the ball, let me get out of here. So out of the zone for a ball. with another one. Here's the 2-1. So we're going to miss here from Davies. Ball just got past him. That was a good pitch by Ashton. Kind of a little shake on the first on the first uh, little piece of that. Blew it past him on the, on the back end. Nice pitch. And there's the break may screw strikeout here for Ashton Harrow. 
Logan's really young, I know. Uh, they got a lot of young players right now. New, fairly new coaching staff, and, and uh, I know they, they struggled a little bit earlier this year, but I know they got some good kids, too. I know uh, talked to a few people that said, you know, if they, if they can put it together, they really have a few guys that can do some things. So. There's a hit out to right center. And out number three in the playoff, caught out there by Jepson. Good efficient inning by uh, Ashton Harrell right there. Get three up, three down. Get back in the dugout, get some warmth, and start hitting the baseball. Well, with that, we'll go to the bottom half of the innings. All zero still. We'll be right back. <laughs> Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. In the mood for a burger and fries? Look no further than the grill. They have plenty of mouth-watering options for everyone. Stop by for lunch or dinner and complete the meal with a tasty dessert. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. Bottom of the first. Logan, two or three up, three down. I'd like to thank Dr. Todd Miller for being our Miller Medical Report, and he will be in a new location at 57 North, 775 East in Tremont. You'll be able to call for an appointment soon at 915-6262, and depending on the home turf here, this afternoon is brought to you by Chancellor Sod Farms, defending the home turf. And Chancellor has your sod and watering tips here in a drought season. There at Chancellor.com. And of course, this broadcast is brought to you by Advanced Integrated Systems. The first is going to step up to the plate. Start off with number eight on our smoop. About two weeks ago, looks like uh, Coach Paz made a little bit of change in some of the, the lineup. I think it was a, a good change. Uh, gave some guys a chance to hit a little bit in a different spot. It seems to have worked really well. They've scored quite a few runs since then and seem to be putting a few things together. Josh Jensen on the mound here for the Grizzlies. Looks like you're gonna have a crafty lefty. Doesn't look like doesn't look like he's gonna really um, blow anything past us. But uh, left-handed pitchers are always they're always tough. Uh, they always seem to be able to, to control a corner, sneak one by you when they need to. And uh, for right-handed hitters, a lot of times the ball run away from them. And uh, you gotta be ready for that. Look inside out first or outside in, and then uh, um, look to go away a little bit, and then turn on the fastball in if you get it. Yeah, he's a little late coming out to the mound, so he'll finish his warm-up pitches now. <laughs> yeah, we thought he was going to be having Lady Bear softball taking on the Box Elder Bees, but that canceled, so we pull another audible yeah. like we did yesterday. And it's crazy, yeah, with baseball cancels yesterday, softball plays, and Softball cancels the game, baseball plays. You know, he just can never flip a coin around here in the springtime. Yeah. That's the way it usually goes. So, Well, we'll get them all covered. Yeah. You guys you guys are always Johnny on the spot anytime we need to have a change, so that's great. And Hunter Smoot going to lead us off here for the Bears. Jensen for the first pitch, and it's a strike here to Smoot. Popped up. And 
and misjudges it. It lands fair. What do they call that foul? No, it's no, it's yeah, fair ball. This yeah, one on here for the Bears. Caught some luck right there. Wind here, the wind it gets up in the stratosphere a little bit. The wind does play havoc with a, with a uh, pop up, especially on the infield. Yeah, you saw him overrunning a little bit. Yeah. Oh, we got to come back. Yeah. Next up for the Bears, will be number four, Alec Collister. He's batting 450, a senior here for the Bears. And Jansen with a pitch and a bunt. Good bunt, can't get it up off the grass, and the Bears will start with two on. It's a good job by Alec right there. You got a left-handed uh, pitcher on the bump. You want to try to bunt the ball somewhere down the first base side just to make them have to come over and, and turn all the way around. That's kind of exactly what happened. Pitcher went to grab the baseball, and he's got to flip. He's got to turn all the way around to fire to first base. It was going to be close anyway. Forced him to, to rush it just a little bit. Hunter Harrow now here for the Bears. Stepping in with no outs, two on. First pitch misses. So a ball here from Josh Jensen. Wouldn't be surprised to see either a hit and run or a straight steal right here with Hunter, see if we can't get both runners in scoring position for him. Take a strike. It's a good pitch by by uh, Jensen right there. You know, you got your three hitter up. You can't you can't put anything right down the middle. Hunter's too good of a hitter for that. He's going to have to work around. This ball's going to drop. Does in front of center field. Bring a runner home. Smoot. Get the first run. And here for the Bears. Still two on. And no outs. Bears strike first. Would have would have liked to possibly see uh, Alec Kouster stretch that to third. But you never want to make the first or the third out at third base. So it's better be safe than sorry. You're in scoring position right there. We got no outs. Uh, you know. Don't want to kill a rally by trying to be too aggressive. Bat. Play breaks up. Let's throw over to third. That's the chase. Coster back to second. Nobody's there uh, over on first. Well, that was a lot of stuff happening for not a whole lot of results. <laughs> <laughs> After the dust settles, we are <laughs> right, back, right, to right back to where we started. Where we started. Back to the plate here with Ashton Harrell. Pitching this afternoon here for the Bears, taking on Josh Jensen, first up. In there for a strike, get in the corner. Yeah, that's a good take right there, probably not a pitch you can bunt really well anyway. The borderline strike ball, that's okay, make the, make the umpire call strike. Come back to work again. There's a good bounce out to left center again. Collister rounds third. He'll go home. Now you get him loaded back up. Second and third now. Runners on. Score another run. Ashton just does a good job sitting on a fastball. Gets something elevated and does a good job poking it to center field. He also did an excellent job of reading what was going on in front of him with Hunter going to third. You know, if the ball doesn't go into second, your job as a base runner is to get in scoring position any way you can. He did a good job making sure that he could get there. Move up, still got second and third, nobody out. A lot of big chance to do some good damage here in the first inning. We could go Garrison Marvel. What was the name? The region hitter of the week. I'll take the first strike here from Josh Jensen. Good to see good to see G healthy and, and doing some good things, you know. Uh, last year he struggled. I think he, I think he struggled with a little bit of injury bug, and then you know, obviously in football had that. So yeah. he's, he's looks like he's pretty close to being full, full strength, and it, it shows with what he's been able to do the last couple of weeks. He really has been stroking the ball well. Um, does a gr always does a great job behind the plate, but last year I think his hitting struggled just a little bit just because of the injuries, and and this year you can see what kind of a player he really is. Button. 451 senior here for the Bears. Good eye. This one goes high and away for ball. This 
It's a 2-1 pitch in their first strike. Again, probably a good take. I mean, the umpire's given that low, the bottom end of the strike zone there, especially on a curveball. That's okay. We'll, we'll figure that out. But early in, early in the game, make him call that a strike. Um, still not in a bad spot. He just needs to, to shorten up, see if we can look away right here. There you go. Sends it down the line and past third baseman. Cleared the bases on a double. Good job right there by by G. Just just not getting not getting in a hurry. Let the let the ball come to him. Did a good job putting the ball on the ground. The nice part about uh, having no outs is in a guy at third base is a lot of things will work. <laughs> and uh, base hits definitely one you want. Um, a ground ball up the middle, past the pitcher, fly ball, something that doesn't you know butterfly with sore feet. A lot of things will work and get to score a couple runs. So did a good job moving up on the throw as well. That's one thing I've noticed this year with the, this this group of players that Coach Haas has is they are very aggressive on the base pads and they do a really good job of taking an extra base. When you can move up 90 feet, makes a big deal. It keeps the pressure definitely on. Yeah. See, and then it, then you have stuff like this. I mean, now they got to worry about you, your outfielders. It it, it forces them to do a, a few things quicker, uh, which you know sometimes they bobble something, you move up easy and. We like free bases. And Mar will take over on third. Bears in the lead, 4-0. It's a great count for, for Baby Groot right here. Get some, get some he can drive. We look licking your chops, looking for something down the zone. A little outside there. So a 3-0 count. See if he has a green light here. May have, may have the take sign, not sure. Either way. <laughs> and that'll miss. And a first walk here for Josh Jensen. Jared Roach stepping into the box here for the Bears. With a good eye, first pitch of ball. Runners on the corners. Again. Jet's done a really good job this year for the for the Bears. I you know I, I like him hitting in this spot. He's you, you got two lefties in a row. Um, lefty on lefty is kind of a tough matchup, but I, I like I like how Jet swings the bat against lefties. He's, he doesn't he's not really too conservative. He can let it fly. Uh, you can tell kind of by that swing there. He's not going to get cheated. <laughs> Yeah, he fouls this one back away. Push the count to a 1-1. One, one. Again, still with no outs. Runner's on the corner. Runner takes second. And they're going to let Garrison Marble go in. At run number five here on the bottom of the first. A good, good job by G. Saw that nobody was there. Wasn't going to catch. If anytime you're not necessarily going to catch the ball on the fly, it's an almost automatic go from third base. Just takes too much to try to catch a baseball off a of bounce, make a transfer, make a decent throw home. It's 127 feet from home plate to second base. You're going to throw it 127 feet off a of bounce, catch a ball, throw another 127 feet back to yeah. home plate. You should be able to go about 75 feet after you make your lead. So. So we're gonna miss. Like I like the swing right there. It's a, it's a it's a good aggressive approach. He just got out in front of himself. He's gonna have to stay back just a little bit. Uh, I would imagine you're probably gonna see um, the Jensen, uh, the pitcher, go to a little bit more off speed more often. That was a much better job. There's a Roach hitting this one deep. The fly out here to left. Just got up stays. in the air a little bit, but. Yeah, mu much better approach by Jet right there. Stay back, just just missed it just a little bit, but I think you're probably going to see a lot of off speed right here. That was like the third break in pitch in a row we saw. So I think uh, they know we can hit the fastball. They're going to have to we have to make a little bit of an adjustment. Look for off speed. Michael Jepsen now. 
One out, one on. Here's your little off speed. It goes out of the zone for a ball, though. Cut, missed. Good act. Like to like to see him uh, stay off that pitch just a little bit. That is probably a ball with this umpire's zone. It's always better to hit 2-0 than it is 1-1. <laughs> Another big cut. Yeah. Good hacks. He's got he's got to track the baseball a little bit. Try and do a little too much right there. That's okay. Two strikes. Shorten up. See if we can't move the runner up. Jensen readies another pitch, and this one in the turf. Love having the turf out here. We don't have to worry about uh, <laughs> yeah. mounding the plate being sloppy and messy. You just go out and play. It makes things a lot nicer. This one will miss, and Marble will take over on third. Another another really good display of base running right there. The the pitcher gotten a little bit of a rhythm. It look, looked like he was a one look guy. Didn't look back the second time, and uh, Marble timed that up good. There's your off speed, yeah. but it will miss, and another walk here for Jensen. Good at bat by Riker right there. Um, seeing a few baseballs. <laughs> And a little chat on the man while they do that. The base baseball's got a raffle going on. Yeah, so uh, so normally the baseball does like a like a au dinner auction, and uh, since COVID, we haven't really been able to run that as as well as we'd like to. Uh, but this year they're doing what they call a super raffle and a bucket raffle. So uh, if anybody goes on to Bear River Baseball on the on Facebook or Instagram, you can see um, what's there on the on the bucket raffles and the super raffles. There's some really really good stuff. Um, I think there's a spotting scope. There's a gun. Uh, there's a, a sod. I think there's um, I know there's a custom cornhole set. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of really good stuff that you can get. Um, if you need if you need uh, raffle tickets, contact any member of the baseball team, or you can direct uh, DM the the um, the person that runs the accounts both on Facebook and on Instagram. So that will take place on Monday. They'll do the they'll do all the raffles on Monday. Perfect. So you got a week? Yeah. Roughly? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, after the chat on the mound, we'll start back here with the Bears. This is Talon Marble now. Runner goes second. And he will have his successful. His runners on Second and third now. I like I like being aggressive, especially early. You never know what's going to happen in a game. You got to you got to be able to score runs early when you can. Later in a ball game, if things are not, you know, if they're a little out of out of hand or if they're a little bit a little bit lopsided, we, you can you can take a chance and and slow some things down. But early, you got to you got to be aggressive and you got to take advantage when you can because you don't you just don't know, especially in high school baseball, things change really fast. <laughs> Only one out, two on. Here's the one one from Jensen. That one's low. Talent just a sophomore. He's done a really good job. I, I, I love him hitting the nine spot. Um, he's a guy that a lot of teams overlook because he is hitting in the nine spot and he's a sophomore, but man, he's really come through on a few. I think he's up there in the in the top the leaderboard on our team in RBIs, which is crazy because you don't usually get that in the nine spot, but uh, he does a great job down there. Yeah, coming into this one, batting a four oh five. Another one here from Jensen. A safe foul. What do you call this? This isn't this isn't really snow, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it, it's the middle of April and we're getting whatever this is, but Jensen with another one in this one. Popped up. Might blow fair. Oh. 
That was pretty close. Land foul. Give a shout out to a former player, Dallas, uh, Dallas Stokes. He used to call this this uh, whatever this stuff is marshmallows. So this is this ain't marshmallows, marshmallows. Dallas. This is freaking cold, man. <laughs> you had the softball team calling it Dippin' Dots. Yeah, <laughs> that might be closer. <laughs> Marble still in a battle. Fouls this one away. Yeah, Coach Haas just turned around and said, I heard marshmallows. <laughs> 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 uh, it's always an adventure, and this time of year it just is. Yeah. Spring in northern Utah. Yeah. Jensen with a pitch, and then another one popped up. Back over to Jensen underneath it, and Josh Jensen gets out number two. Talon didn't quite get his hands out in front of that one a little bit. Kind of barrel head got stuck behind his hands a little bit right there and just couldn't quite put the, a decent barrel on it. But I apologize. Maybe replays not working as smooth as they usually do. We go to the top of the order. Here in the bottom of the first, Hunter Smoot. Two out, two on. Pitch down low here from Jensen. Catcher doing a good job right there blocking a baseball. Dropping low. Yeah, the roster that I got, you only got two seniors here on. Oh, four seniors. For Logan. For Logan, yeah. yeah. Good count to hit in right here. You got a 2 0 count. He went back to back off speed. He's going to have to come with a fastball, most likely, right here. Yep. Missed, up, missed it upstairs. Good, good uh, take by Hunter Smoot right there. You got, got the count in your favor. You don't need to swing anything you don't want to get something you like. Smoot ball ahead, 3-0 count. Jensen with another one. Finds it on that one. Again, good count to hit in. And that one misses, lowered him up on a walk. Back here to Alec Collister. Alec with a bunt single earlier in the inning. I doubt he'll be bunting here. Most likely going to be hitting away with two two outs. But uh, see if he can't bring in a couple more runs for us right here on the top or the bottom of half of the first. And the dirt gets past the catcher this time. Maybe a close play. Good job. Good job right there by by uh, uh, Garrick Marble. You know, he, he didn't hesitate. He saw the ball get past the catcher and just kept kept rolling with it. Sometimes you get kids that will look at that and say, oh, I don't know where it's at. As soon as you know it get, gets past the catcher, you got to take a chance with two, to, with two outs, score an extra run. He's not known for his speed necessarily, but he is not slow either. So. There's a 1-0 pitch. <laughs> Get a 2-0 after that ball. Hunter Smoot on second and Riker Jepson standing on third. Two outs. Comes back with a strike from Jensen. Strikes. Look, back into this one. Yeah. Looked like Alec might have been looking off speed pitch there. Got a fastball. Decided to sit on it. I work hard right here. Make sure we uh, put the ball in play. Two is all the way across the board. This one bouncing off and another run. Oil come in and score here for the Bears. Jepson. Jogs in. Smoot. Now on third. Yeah, Alec, Alec will get two RBIs. He hadn't even signed a bat yet. <laughs> <laughs> Four.
full count. Here to Collister. Jansen with the pitch. Swing and a miss. Well, the Grizzlies make the bleeding stop, but not after the Bears take a 7-0 lead. Bill Strands moved on third. And a will step aside and we'll be back for the top of the second when we come back. Great Basin Industrial has been building America with epic safety and quality since 2007, specializing in steel fabrication, machining, and paint. GBI engineers, ships, installs, and repairs a wide range of products. They design and build all steel and alloy work according to the highest industry standards. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Think of Greer's Hardware for all your spring cleaning needs. Whether your project is inside or outside, they have you covered. Rudd Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. The Pine Up sells more than just hot rolls and donuts. They offer a full breakfast and lunch menu Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Breakfast is also served on Saturdays from 7 until noon. Try some deliciousness today. All right, back here at or top of the second inning. Quick work by Ashton Harrow. One pitch, one out. Great play by Jet Roach right there. Get the ball rolling right here in the second inning. Long, long bottom of the first inning, but it was productive, so we'll take that. Another strike from Ashton Harrell there. Good pitch right there. Really good movement there. Ashton seems to have his stuff today. Like I said before, uh, primarily fastball changeup guy, so cold doesn't bother him a whole lot. Still 0-2 here. Nobody on, one out, bears up 7-0. Good pitch again from Ashton Harrell. Get another out. Two outs. Number six, Jaden Martin up for uh, Logan. Ashton Harrell pouring in strikes in this inning. I don't think he has a ball so far. O oh, two. Good waste pitch. Ashton looked like he may have wanted that pitch, but it was up, but up and away just a little bit. It's a good time to throw that pitch. Probably look for something down in the zone on the inside half right here. Does come inside, but just missed a little too far in. 2-2, two, two, two outs. Bottom of the second. Lots of, de lots of deuces on the board for us today. Pitch right there. Good off speed pitch. One, two, three again in the 
bottom or the top of the second inning. And so we'll head to the break. <laughs> Broad Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tree Mountain. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Here on the box here for the Bears to get us going again here in the bottom half of any number two. Gentle still on the mound here for the Grizzlies. Pitches a ball. Has a count up at one. Thunder with the RBI single in the last inning. See if he can get us started here in this inning. Good play right there by the first baseman. I made a made an adjustment from the first pop out where he was wasn't able to kind of get back into play on that one. It's 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 a tough situation with the wind sometimes around here. Ashton Harrow now fouls this one back to the backstop. Good eye, we'll tie the count up at one. Already with one out. Takes that strike. Good pitch right there. Come back and try to get ahead. That would help him out, obviously, if he has a quick inning versus the inning we had last in time, so. Ball's hammered. Just Good head, foul. but goes foul. Just got the barrel head out in front just a little bit. Back, do it all over again. Still in there with the one-two count. Looking to buy or sell. Give Gary Manson a call. Caldwell Banker to our realtors. This one sells high for another ball from Jensen. Push it to a two-two count. Good job fighting right there by Ashton. It was a good, pretty decent curveball. 
stayed back on it. Just just fouled it off, but sometimes you just need to foul off a pitch to get a new one and get it something better. Shot over to the second baseman. New throw in time for out number two. Good job with two strikes, putting the ball in play hard. Hit it right at the second baseman. That happens. Back up with Garrison Marble. Nobody on and two outs. I think it might have got too cold to snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that cold front just pushed it right out of here. It did. Now I want the snow back. It yeah, was warmer. <laughs> a little warmer then. Jensen with another one, and this one misses high for a ball. Okay, two outs. Nobody on. Bears in the lead, 7-0. Watch this one up high. Plenty of time to get underneath it, but it drifts out of play. Good act right there by G. Good count to take to take a big hack, and he did. Come back, still got a still a decent count to take a big hack. And don't get cheated. See if we can't start something off. See if we can't poke something in the gap. End up on second base. Two base hits, score one here. This one will miss for a ball here from Jensen. This one shot over to shortstop. You throw in time for round number three. Good play of the shortstop right there. That's actually, he made it look pretty easy, and it's not an easy play. You got to go back to your left and, and uh, make that play, so. Good inning for their pitcher right here. Yeah, it gets out. Not going to get any more runs on here for the Bears. We'll go to the top of the third when we come back. buying or selling, let the dedicated professionals at Caldwell Banker help you save time and money. We are farmers. At IPG, we take pride in being a global leader in protective packaging. In Tremont, we manufacture shrink film, stretch film, and air pillows. We strive to be the best at what we do in all aspects of the job. Look us up on the web at itape.com. That's the letter I, tape.com. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. The KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Connecting you with all the jazz action, the dunks, buzzer beaters, and ankle breakers. Podcasts from the pros and in-depth analysis. Download the free KSL Sports app today. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. Still a 7-0 lead here for the Bears. Start us off here for the top of the third, or top of the third for the 
Grizzlies, number nine. Kaya Lang. Still, still, pull, still, still pouring strikes in there, man. He's uh, at a low pitch count. I don't think he threw a ball last inning. That's, that's a good sign. Yeah, it's still doing. Still doing awesome on the mound and screams that one in there. Yeah. A little, little giddy up on that one from Ashton. He doesn't. He's not known for a, a fastball, but he'll sneak one past you once in a while. Here with the 0-2. Lang pops this one up high and out of play. Get a good shot of the new visitor dug out there. Oh yeah. Looking pretty nice over there. Even got the turf inside. Yeah. Got the. So when they when they. Um, installed the, the football field uh, part of the turf on the end zone was the wrong color yeah so we took it out they just gave it to us it's it's red enough that it'll work for baseball so we, we went and grabbed it and stuck it inside makes things look nice he shot short oh. the throw not gonna be in time it's good it's a good job by the hitter right there you know you got down to two strikes and just tried to put the ball in play you, I mean, sometimes you have to do that so just hit it, hit it where we couldn't quite get to it, and make it make a, a quality throw over. So Lang ends up on first. Here for the Grizzlies. Next up, Jamison Thompson, a freshman. Some drops low for a ball here from Harrell. Still no outs. Runner on first. Hunter's probably, probably a little bit upset, or uh, Ashton's probably a little bit upset they got that base hit on him. He's got to just take a deep breath and go back to throwing strikes right here. Just like that. One count. Lang still on first here for the Grizzlies. And there for a strike. So a one ball, two strike count. Harrow with another one. Good that pitch. one's in there. And I bring Mace Kadoo a strikeout. I, th I think we had the I think we had the count or the umpire had the count wrong. I, I was thinking it was one one because of pitch before, but oh. they got it right now. So now it's one two. <laughs> <laughs> Hate ringing him up on a strike two, but it happens once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Down the way. Pond still battling. Sophomore batting 167 coming into this afternoon. A good pitch right there. Ashton take a chance on throwing something down. Down, see if he'll swing at something out of zone. I 
think it's 2-2. I think they got the I think they got the scoreboard messed up a little bit. <laughs> I think it counts 2-2 if I remember right. Harold just gonna miss. Ooh, wanted that one. Close pitch. Maybe just a little bit down. Now we got a full count. Now is your full count. <laughs> if you leave it up there long enough, it'll be right. It'll once in a while. Exactly. Another one fouled away. One out, still with a runner on first. Another full count pitch, and he now a Frank Mace could do strikeout here go. for <laughs> we, all that all that five extra pitches to get the same result, but Gosh it'll work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See it in our replay look. Looks like we got them kind of ironed out. Ashton's doing a good job today. As cold as it is, it looks like his ball has a little bit uh, of extra movement. He usually has a really good two-seam fastball, but when it's cold like this, it usually doesn't move as much as you normally want it to. It looks like today he's still got pretty good control on that. So, Josh Jensen with a good eye on the first pitch, going for a ball still with laying on first. Now two outs. Check that. We're in the top of the order. Is this one's foul away? Top of the order is number 27, Vincent Aurora. He's the one of the seniors. One out of the four. Here for the Grizzlies. Much you can do there with G. <laughs> not not a whole lot to do with that. Gotta gotta give him something he can he can handle. That's all right. Yeah, Lang will take over on second. It's a two-one count. There's a pitch from Harold. Popped up. Collister calling him off, making the catch. Strand and laying on second. We will take a CNR replay. It's a good job by Alec right there. That, again, he, they got to talk a little bit better, but uh, I heard one of them call it finally. So uh, good job coming in on that. Wind blowing in your face sometimes it makes a difference. All right, we go to the bottom half here at Bear High School. <laughs> The grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, the grill has you covered. Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with Mom and Me classes. Enjoy co-ed hip-hop, classical ballet, point, contemporary, jazz, along with karate and parkour. Tanglewood is a USAG licensed gym offering bars, beam, vault, and a spring floor. Mom and Me and toddler classes are offered in music, dance, and gymnastics. Tanglewood Tots Preschool includes dance, gymnastics, music, and live sports. Singing classes, guitar, and musical theater are also offered. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today.
Rudd Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. The Pie Dumps Monthly Steakhouse Dinner is held every third Saturday of the month from 5 to 8 p.m. Call ahead to reserve your spot or get your order to go. Each month they feature delicious food with options for the whole family. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. We'll start off with Garrick Marble in the bottom of the third. Again, the lady for Bear River still in the lead 7-0 as the snow starts to fall again here at Bever High School. Jetson still on the mound here for the Logan Grizzlies, which is the first one a ball. Jensen had a good inning last time. Got one, two, three, kind of settled back in. Put the ball and play hard a couple of times, but they still got out, so we'll, just, we'll keep we'll keep battling here. Got uh, the big man up now. Garrick Marble with a size 17 shoe. He's heading the count <laughs> 2 0, -oh, and there's a pitch that'll miss as well. Push the count to 3 0. -oh. I'd like to thank kslsports.com for being a good sponsor. Go download their app, and you could be watching this game on the KSL Sports app. Start off with a walk here in the bottom of the third. Jet Roach will be up next here for the Bears. Jet had a, a quality at bat last time. He had an out, but it was a loud out. Did a good job of putting a piece on the ball. But First pitch misses here for Jensen. I'd expect to see some action right here out of Coach Haas. He's not going to wait too much longer. He wants to score another run here in the, in the third. Pals this one away. Scout tied, 1-1. One, one. Jensen steps off. That's close to a balk, but looked like he moved his front side first, which if he does that, <coughs> he, has to, he either has to go home or Tried to step off when you're moving the front side both, but got away with it right there. Just trying to play catch with the first baseman, keep Garrison over there. Yeah. Or Garrick, excuse me. Garrick, yeah. One, one. Just a piece of it. I think that was hit and run. Yep. <laughs> Garrick's gonna get a little uh he's probably gonna get a little talking to after the game. Say, hey, uh get a hit and run on, you gotta protect your hitter there. It's alright, he'll come back, he'll get it right. Straightens it up. Ow. Hit deep. Right center. And the Grizzlies will get out number one. Lang with the catch out there and right. Marble still sits on first. I think they had a hit and run on, on the, the pitch that uh, Jet fouled off. And uh, sometimes as a hitter, you know you get hit and run on, and you, and you get out of the corner of your eye, you see the guy not break, and it kind of screws it a little bit. And, uh, that's all right. Riker Jepson now. Back up, one out, one on. Woo! Hall's ducking out of the way of the foul ball. I think 
Ken Smarkin for being a great sponsor, your one-stop shop. Fresh produce, deli, bakery, pharmacy, all under one roof. I like the, the pitch selection Riker had that time. Ball's down in the zone. Riker can do a lot of things with the ball down in the zone. He hasn't had much luck swinging with that pitch that's up with the letters, so I'd, I'd uh, sit on that pitch and look for something down you can handle. Mount to center. Able to get it in. Runners on the corners after the dust settles. Good piece of hitting right there with Riker. Again, looking for something down in the zone. Um, got it. Deposited into center field. Uh, Garrick does a good job going first to third there. Didn't wait for Coach Haas to wave him. Just knew he was going first to third. That's a that's a ball that's in front of you. You got to know that kind of going in. What can I do? With the ball that's in front of me. Ball behind you. Then you got to look at the coach a little bit more. But uh, did a good job of moving up there. Talon Marble now still with one out. Runner's going to go second. This one's overthrown. Bring the runner in. Jefferson will take over on third. Yeah. Being aggressive right there, just trying to make sure we make stuff happen. Sit back and wait. Becker's got good speed. Um, does a good job running the bases as well. Looked like the catcher might have might have slipped a little bit. It's cold. Sometimes that happens. This one lines in foul territory. Talon getting sawed off all day today. Last one, last one hit him on the end on the hands as well. So either got to get the barrel head out a little quicker on it or look for something out over the play a little bit more. But he'll make an adjustment. Gents with the 0 1 foul away. Better swing right there from, from Talon. Got to get the barrel head into the zone right there. Just just missed that one. Got to work hard right here, though. 0 2, got to put the ball in play. Runner at third base with less than two. A lot of things will work. We need a ball up the middle. Get a fly ball, do something here. Or that works, too. Off the plate, and <laughs> Jefferson will walk right on in. Within the lead, 9 0. A little different approach right here with, with Talon. You know, trying to look for something you can hit hard. Still got to protect the plate a little bit. Low one inside. Push the count. 2-2. Two, two. Now with nobody on. One out. Another one at the ankles here from Jensen. Tell you about the monthly specials here of Twisted Sugar, carrot cake. carrot cake, and raspberry pretzel. Your cookies for April. Also with 18 other flavors that are always there at Twisted Sugar. I don't know what I had today. Somebody brought me in something with a coconut on it. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. You definitely can crave your sweet tooth there at Twisted Sugar. Looks 
Blake taking over on the man will be number two, Alex Davies, a senior here for the Grizzlies. While he takes his warm-up pitches, we'll step aside. Bears in the lead, 9-0 here in the bottom of the third. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tremont. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. At IPG, we take pride in being a global leader in protective packaging. IPG Tremont has won the Industry Week magazine's Best Plants Award twice. How can we achieve this? It's our people. With top pay and self-paced promotions, IPG is a place you can get ahead. Excellent benefits like low health care premiums, low deductibles, 401k match, and free life insurance. The plant is warm in the winter and air-conditioned in the summer. Uniforms or smocks are not required. Wear what you like. Come join a winning team with all the values you care about. Come work with us at IPG. Stop in any time or look us up on the web at itape.com. We are farmers. Still in the bottom of the third as we walk in back here to Bearford High School. Again, Alex Davies now on the mound here for the Grizzlies. His first batter will be top of the order, Hunter Smoot, here for the Bears. One out and one on. And he will step off and Chase Talon back over to first. And again, going to check. I'd like to thank Frank Mayskadoo for being our strikeout sponsor. Three in a row this time gets past, and he will take over on second. Alex doesn't throw on a pitch yet. When her advances over to second, still on the at the plate here with Smoot. Chopper over to third baseman and it rolls past him. Runner goes in. We'll try to catch him at two, and he will be safe as he gets it. A lot of happen on that one. Talon brings in another run here for the Bears. They'll check out Hunter Smoot there on second. Don't have a lot of Miller medical moments here in baseball, but we'll take one here. Smooth, tough kid. He's got a smile on his face. Out there having fun here in the snow. <laughs> Next up for the Bears will be Alec Collister. Still with only one out. Smoot on second. And Collister drops this one in front of center fielder. Smoot stays at third. Callister skips back over to first. Runners on the corners with one out. Hook 
by Coster. He's getting out where nobody's at. Next up for the Bears, Hunter Harrell Sr. Here for the Bears. Two on, one gone in the bottom of the third. Davy steps out. Takes Collister back over to first. Davies pitches in there. Arrow fouls it away back to the backstop. speed. For some we've seen that one as it goes in there for a strike. Dave's ahead in the count 0-2. This one stays high for a ball. Dave's trying to get back. You're on a one two count. Mike Golden checks and calls her again. Our next broadcast will be boys soccer. Tomorrow night they travel over to Ridgeline. They start their second half of region play. Inside for ball. This one, hit back over to second, and he's gonna be safe. Runner goes in and scores. Just a little bit of trouble with it there in second. Shortstop thought he got him. Dig out second base again. Callister, Callister will be on second here for the Bears. Smoot ran in, scored another run here for the Bears. And Hunter stands on first. So now Ashton Harrell, another senior here for the Bears, steps up to the plate. Again, only one out. I'd like to thank Cover Up for being a great sponsor. If you are in need of screen printing or embroidery, custom designing, they're at cover-up. Down the line, plays a third, and Collister will get out. Two gone now, but two on still here for the Bears. Taking over on first for the Bears will be just a kid, a sophomore. He'll come in for Ashton. Now Garrison Marble steps up here for the Bears. Two gone, two on. Davies sends one in there low for a ball.
Davies with the 1-0 in the first strike. Just have the count back up at 1. Ankles. Davies falls behind 2 1. I'd like to thank the Valley Headliner, BRVnews.com, for being your true local news source. will be over at Logan tomorrow for game two. Place the second and they will get them. Round number three, but whoever gets three more runs. Push the lead ten to nothing. We'll go to the top of the fourth when as the sun comes out. Still snowing. We'll be right back. Grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, the Grill has you covered. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tremonton. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Think of Greer's Hardware for all your spring cleaning needs. Whether your project is inside or outside, they have you covered. Rudd Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. First up, Alex Davies, taking over at the mound here for the Grizzlies. Harrell still on the mound here for the Bears, first one in there, goes low for a ball. Oh, well, just missed. Good pitch right there by Ashton. This is this is kind of sometimes you get a little bit of a low. You know we got a you know we got a big lead. Got to just kind of bow your neck right here just a little bit. Throw strikes. Making them put the ball in play is fine. We know we're gonna get outs, so you just gotta keep just gotta keep ball down the zone. Let them let them swing the bats a little bit here, but keep throwing strikes. Next 
next up, the Cabrera here for the Grizzlies. And a hit by a pitch. Cabrera will take his base, put two on here for the Grizzlies. We get bat right here for Ash. Even I don't don't care what the score is. He just needs to take a deep breath and get back in the zone. Start pounding it again and trust his defense right here. See if we can't get an out. Now Cody Kirk. No out. Two on. Arrow with the pitch. And this one low. up high. Playable foul territory. I think Derek Marble. That's a good job right there. Had to avoid a coach. Coach does a good job. That, that's, that's actually what he's supposed to do is stay in the box so that the kid knows where he's at. Uh, Derek did a good job right there getting around that, making sure we got the ball. Get it out. Spitzer Wilson next up here for the Grizzlies. Still the same, just with one out. Got Mason on second. Down over to third baseline, but goes foul. So we'll reset. Good time for a little ground ball. See if we can get two for one here. Cabrera on first as well here for the Grizzlies. There's the 0-1 at the ankles. Ooh. Nice throw by G right there. I think uh, Garrett called that one on the pre-pitch. That was a good job right there, just noticing, hey, we got a chance to get a cheap out here. Great, great throw, good tag by Garrett right there. A little marble to marble cousin action there. <laughs> So 1-1 one, one count, still at the plate, another foul. And Spencer Wilson at the plate, just a junior. Looking at a 1-2 count. Pitch. Ah, oh, speed pitch. gets him to go. Yeah, just pulled the string on that one. That was a nice pitch. We'll take a CNR look at it. So that is another Frank Mace Cadu strikeout. You take a nap by the time this one gets yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> good 12 to 6 break on that. was a good pitch. And a strand, two runners on here for the, well, one with the Grizzlies. Yeah. And we go to the bottom half of any number four. Bears already in the lead, 10 0. We'll be right back. sweet tooth? Stop by the grill for one of their tasty desserts. Pick one of their delicious cakes or ice cream today. Whether you're buying or selling, let the dedicated professionals at Caldwell Banker help you save time and money. Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with Mama Me classes. Enjoy co-ed hip-hop, classical ballet, point, contemporary, jazz, along with karate and parkour. Tanglewood is a USAG licensed gym offering bars, beam, vault, and a spring floor. 
Mom and Me and Toddler classes are offered in music, dance, and gymnastics. Tanglewood Tots Preschool includes dance, gymnastics, music, and live sports. Singing classes, guitar, and musical theater are also offered. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. Ten o' ball game, bottom of the fourth. And first bad appearance here this afternoon, number 25. Good to see Deegan get a chance to swing the bat right here. He's been uh, kind of the number three starter for the Bears all year. Done a really good job there. It's nice to see him get a chance to swing the bat, get in a varsity game that, that way as well. He's a good, good young player. So it's on that one. That's a good eye. It's a ball one. Alex Davies on the mound here for the Grizzlies. Took over in the last inning. Tough pitch right there. That was a good pitch, actually. And just, you know, if you're the hitter, you just tip your hat there, strike one. That's fine. Still got to come back a couple more, get a chance to swing it here. Davies again with a 1 1. Goes upstairs. down to center. Deacon took a good swing right there. He just missed. Just, just barely got underneath that ball. But uh, like I said, good to see him getting some time in a varsity game and uh, doing a good job right there. Had a loud out. Let's see in our replay. Out number one on the fly out up to center. We'll go down to Jet Roach. Nobody on. And one out. Davies winds up, pitches this one in there. And misses the zone for ball. to center and just like out number one I'll get out number two Jet kind of a hard luck day for him today he's hit the ball hard three times just hasn't had anything to show for it but uh, good at bats by Jet those balls will fall Kyler out there getting two outs now first up here this afternoon Easton Potter Two outs, no on. Davies with a pitch, and this one popped up short, and they'll take care of it. They go down in order. See if we can uh, hang on to the top of the fifth and uh, make it an early game today. <laughs> yep, that'll be the last, the last inch effort here for the Grizzlies to extend the game. We'll have it for you when we come back. Think of Greer's Hardware for all your spring cleaning needs. Whether your project is inside or outside, they have you covered. In the mood for pizza? Come to the grill and build your own or try any of their specially made pizzas with flavors for the whole family. Kent's Market is always farm fresh. During this time, we are able to stay stocked and keep our produce quality because we source our produce from a variety of vendors.
Tins Market, Farm Fresh. Rudd Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. The Tremont Plant has won the Industry Week Magazine's Best Plants Award in 2017, and then again in 2021 for operational excellence. The plant has also won awards for sustainability from the EPA and many internal quality trophies. How can we achieve this? Simple. It's our people. At IP. Welcome back here to Bear River High School, top of the fifth. And the Grizzlies will start off with number six, Cody Rudd, Jr. Still on the mound here for the Bears is Ashton Harrell. Having a good day on the mound. Swing and a miss, and that'll tie the count up at one. Ashton back in a little bit of a groove right here. Got out a little bit that last thing, but uh, had some nice plays behind him. Still got the outs. Didn't allow a runner, runner past second base. So. Here's a hit. Center left. Or center right, excuse me. And the fly out. Got a Harrow there. It's either Harrow or Marble. Here. Yeah. Here. Better off to... Yeah, called by last name. Yeah, you got you got a pretty good chance of any <laughs> any 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 play happening. Either a hero or a marble or a roach are probably going to take the play. So, good stuff. Laying back up now here for the Grizzlies. No on, one out. Here's a pitch from Harold. And straight over. I think that was actually uh, Easton Goodliff. I think he might be in the game. I think, I think yep. that is Easton Goodliff. Another sophomore, good, good player for the Bears. Good to, again, good to see him getting some time. Coach Haas trying to get some of the younger players in. You're gonna need to rely on those guys, especially late. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta have some guys that have some experience. So it's a good time to get those. Big swing and a miss here from Jameson. Another one. Harold, the O2 off speed. Lost his hat. The the flow there got in the way for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Steps back in, one, two count. Arrow will miss with that one. Still good, uh, Ashton still got good velocity. You know, fifth inning, running it up there pretty decent for him. 52, swung on in. Ashton Harrell with a Frank Mace strike strikeout to finish off the Grizzlies 10-0 in five. And with a CNR replay look, that will be your Soda Fix player of the game. Your player of the game on the mound, number yeah. five, Ashton Harrell. Great job by the senior. Honestly, you know, he looks like over on the pitch count board, he's at 57 pitches through five innings. That's pretty efficient work. I think he had a two-hit shutout, um, doing a good job of just trusting his defense. I think he had one one little kind of Jimmy Jimmy Jack hit right there in the infield and uh, then had one legit hit out in, in uh, right. So... Ashton doing a good job of, of just going out, throwing strikes. He was a machine today on strikes. So I'd love to see his uh, ball to strike ratio, but it's about 90% um, strikes to balls. So anytime you got that, and you're keeping the ball down in the zone. You're gonna you're gonna cruise through games and uh, and uh, get some quick outs and some quick innings. And he did that today in spades. Well, for your Entertain Polymer Group. Uh, game wrap up there's a huge bottom of the seventh or bottom of the first excuse me seven runs to start off the game and 
Grizzlies just got in a hole and couldn't dig out of. Yeah, it's kind of typical sometimes of a young team. Um, if something, you know, a couple of bad things happened really quickly, and it took them a little while to dig out, they finally did for a couple innings, and then and then it was just, just there's a lot of a uh, lot of experience on the Bears team. They're not, they're not going to let them get away with uh, with with too much and uh, kind of put the pedal down a little bit. Got after it. Well, we would like to thank our sponsors for allowing us to do what we can to get these sports covered. I know we had a, like I said, change in, had a little change in our schedule this week, but tomorrow should happen as we'll travel with the soccer team over to Ridgeline again, starting the second half of region playoff over there. Yeah, those soccer guys, they're crazy. They play, <laughs> they play in any weather. <laughs> so, <laughs> but no, that'll be good to get over there. And, and yeah, like you said, sometimes... Uh, Northern Utah spring weather. They keep Coach Park hopping, getting buses and umpires and trying to figure all that stuff out. He does a great job with that. But uh, we appreciate you guys coming out too and making making uh, making our programs better. Honestly, you guys you guys do a great job of getting the, the, the publicity out for our kids and they enjoy it. They talk about it a lot of times and uh, about they they start pulling highlights off the YouTube videos and all that good <laughs> stuff. So no, they, it's it's a good. It's a good situation for us and for them, so we appreciate you guys. Yeah, it's all about these kids, and it's thanks to all these sponsors you see right there on your screen for making it happen. We'd like to thank the Pytum, Caldwell Banker, Gers, New Best Hardware, Twisted Sugar, Advanced Integrated Systems, Great Basin Industrial, Academy Mortgage, CNRP Replays, Jared Summers at Farmers Insurance, keep getting you covered for Auto Home and Live Rudd Greenville Homes, KSLSports.com, Soda Fix for your player of the game, U.S. Secure, U.S. Title. Entertate Polymer Group, The uh, Grill, Dr. Todd Miller, Chanchair Sod Farms, The Valley Headliner, Frank May for your strikeout sponsor, West Liberty Foods, The Lincoln Financial Cover-Up, Tanglewood Studios, and last but not least, Kent's Market. Well, Clay, another one in the books. Yeah. It almost even got warm. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Just in time to be done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you gotta feel bad for the JV guys. <laughs> That's the worst thing. They'll be out. They'll be out here with. They'll be. Out, they'll have frozen snot to the to the upper lip, and about nine o'clock tonight, be be going home and have to have to get four electric blankets on to get warm. But um, thaw. Yeah, but it's always fun. It's always a good time. You know, the, the, like like you say, the, the weather's always unpredictable this time of year. But it's always a good time. Um, things that you get a chance to do this and you know COVID taught us a lot which is one of the things that taught us is don't take things for granted because sometimes it gets taken away pretty fast so even if it's cold and even if it's not overly uh, fun with with weather wise it's it's good to be out here it's good to be uh, working and being with your friends and having a good time so well until next time you'll have game two over in Logan here against Grizzlies and then follow it up with game three hopefully on Friday back over here Friday's a Friday's alumni day, so if there's any alumni out there uh, want to come out and watch a game, Friday's Friday's a day we'll kind of do a little do a little extra for them. So come on out, guys! And don't forget about the raffle. Yes, if anybody wants to, if anybody wants raffle tickets, man, there's some really good stuff in there. Um, a lot of stuff that we would normally see in our auction, but they're just doing it as a super, super raffle. So the raffle tickets are twenty dollars a piece because of the the big stuff that's in there. This isn't this isn't uh, your, you know, fi uh, two or three dollar. Um, golf ball package or whatever is this these are some really good things um, so if you want any of those uh, you can either hit me up hit any of the baseball players up or go on uh, social media and uh, DM the, the account owners and they will hook you up with some tickets all right with that we'll say goodbye here from Bear River High School Bears get the win stay undefeated in region 10-0 over the Grizzlies we'll see you tomorrow night for some Bear River soccer they travel over to travel over to Ridgeline, take on the River Hawks. See if we can get win number two tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> See if we start a roll. That's right. That's right. All right, everybody, you've been watching Bear Live. We'll see you tomorrow.